Hey guys, this is Adam. Thanks for watching the video. I want to show you how you can get image placeholder position in make.com scenarios if you are automating your Printify product creation using Make. Um, one of the challenges that I had was I needed to find the placement of the images in Printify. So when you have the create a product module and you want to create uh, one of the Printify products, each product has different placements for where you're going to add your image. So let's do an example of the men's Hawaiian shirt from Printify. You can see that right here. Um, if I start designing in Printify, you'll notice that there are several areas and I need to know the name of each one. Now you might think it's front, right, front, left, right, sleeve, left, sleeve, back, top, back, bottom, collar. And that's usually pretty close to correct. However, each product has slight variations on what it actually is in the make module. So here you can see my make scenario. And I've got the create a product in Printify module. And I've chosen the uh, men's Hawaiian shirt all over print by Arts Ad. And so I want to have all my different variants. And then once you get to the bottom of the variants, you'll notice here's the print area where I'm going to add my <clears throat> image onto the positions. Um, however, uh, front or back doesn't work for every product, that's for sure. And like I say, each product has slight variations than what you might see here in the Printify design tool. So what are these and how are you going to find them, right? So it turns out with the Hawaiian shirt, you've got left underscore sleeve, and then you have right underscore sleeve, and then you have collar with a capital C. Why does it have a capital C? I don't know, but it does. And then front underscore right, front underscore left, back underscore top, back underscore bottom, and then that's it for each variation. So how did I discover what those are? Um, well, each product has their own placement words or names that you need to put into your make scenario and your and create a product so that it will work so that when you come to your Printify after you run your scenario, it's going to actually work and not just show that little white square with a, a, a refresh sort of looking icon and it will actually have your images that you choose placed correctly. So I'll show you what I did to discover these uh, the words that I used. So make a new scenario and you're going to have two modules and the first module is a Printify, um, it's an API module. So make a new module, type Printify, and just type in API, and you're going to want to use make an API call. Okay, so I don't need that module because I have two here. The first one, you need to get the product itself. So in this case, you go for a, uh, a blueprint ID. Now you can see in make it loaded up and now I have all of the Printify products. So I'll type in Hawaiian and there it is, men's Hawaiian shirt. And I'll add that, okay. And then in the second API module, you want to um, get the variants, list blueprint variants. So same thing, use an API call. And then in your blueprint ID, just as before, you want to get the same product. So I'll type in Hawaiian. There it is. And it's a, <clears throat> I believe there's two. I want the arts ad for this particular product. And limit is 10. Usually that's fine. So click OK. And then you're going to want to run this scenario once. OK, it's done. So in the um, output, click on this little thing and you'll notice, okay, it got the information. Here's the Hawaiian shirt with the description and the generic brand. None of this really matters, but 
it's good to know that it got the correct blueprint and it looks like it's the Hawaiian shirt yes it is so that's that's good now in the second one with the variants in the output bundles you'll notice that underneath it's gonna say the blueprint ID and in the output here you have your bundle it's a small black and then it right here you'll see placeholders okay this is what you want so click on that and you'll notice it has seven placeholders which is correct one two three four five six seven uh, different placeholders for the Hawaiian shirt so if you click on each one of these you'll notice oh there's a left sleeve right underscore sleeve a collar with a capital C front right front underscore left back underscore top and back underscore bottom so write those down and then when you go to create your Hawaiian t-shirt product or any of the products in Printify catalog you don't have to guess nor which it won't work nor do you necessarily want to use these although in this case it is mapped similarly to these it's all lowercase with an underscore except the word collar which is strange and I would never have guessed it but you don't have to guess because the Printify API will give you the information here for every one of the products in the Printify catalog so I hope this is helpful uh, when you're making uh, automations in make.com for Printify. Uh, any product, you're going to be able to get this. So I'll just give you another example. If I go to the blueprint, let's pick the, let it load in, and let's pick the waterproof travel bag. Okay, so I have to get the product first, get the main blueprint, and then I'm going to get all of the variations for the water proof travel bag and the, there's the provider hit OK and then run the scenario I'm assuming there's probably four or maybe five parts um, so check this again there it is it got the waterproof travel bag and now I'm gonna check the variants okay so in the output bundles go down to where it says placeholders click it it has four parts first part front second part left underscore side the third part is right underscore side and the fourth part is back so now when you're in make and you want to create a product and you select your waterproof bag um, you know that you now need to add four placeholder parts and that they're going to you have the names now it's in here there's no guessing there's no errors you don't even need really to go into printify and find the bag and look at the parts but just to check let's see if the parts are called the same here's the waterproof bag I'm gonna start designing front side back side right see if you look at the API placeholders it's actually not front underscore side which you might guess that that would be the case but it's not because there it is it's front and then left underscore side right underscore side and then back so I like I said it doesn't always map to this part here so I hope that's helpful um, and I hope you're enjoying automating your Printify products using make if you have any other questions about make or Printify Put a comment below and maybe I can help you solve the problem there as well. Thanks again for your time.